Avatar Frontiers of Pandora. I gotta be honest, I never really expected us to get an Avatar game. I never really thought that it was something that was needed, but uh, we got this first look trailer a couple years ago and it instantly piqued my interest. It looks absolutely beautiful, but we hadn't seen any gameplay until now. Just a couple days ago, we got another more detailed look at the game. It's gonna be coming out this December in just a few months. So let's watch together and see what we're gonna get into. The official game overview trailer. Captured on PS5, mix of gameplay, cutscenes, and in-game footage. I mean, let's be honest, this, an open world, Welcome I think it's first Avatar, person. Frontiers of Pandora. A Pandora first game, this is action adventure game that invites you to explore the engaging world of Avatar in an immersive open world experience. I'm Didi Deanfeld, game director, and I'm excited to reveal what's waiting for you on Pandora. Look how beautiful Pandora is, The story is, man. of our game begins when the RDA expands their operations to the western frontier. John Mercer, one of the leaders of the RDA, abducts you and other Navi children from your home to teach you the ways of humans, hoping to mold you and turn you against your own people. There's no but way. But his plan is interrupted by the Battle of the Hallelujah Mountains, and you are put into emergency cryosleep. When you awaken 15 years later, you are a stranger in your birthplace. Knowing the dangers posed by the RDA, you set out to take them down and look to secure the help of other Navi clans. Initially, you're perceived as an outsider, so you have to reconnect with your lost Navi heritage to gain their trust. On your Dude, adventure, sick. you'll find your own path as you discover what it means to be Navi. You'll explore new regions of Pandora, each with their own unique biomes. The Kinglaw Forest is a lush rainforest brimming with life and dense vegetation in the shade of awe-inspiring floating mountains. Wow. This is the home of the Aranahe, a clan of peaceful weavers who will guide you on your first hunt and on your first flight. Ooh, flying on a banshee, baby. The Aranahe will show you the way to the rookery where you can bond for life with your very own Ikram. The Ikram is a devoted companion that you can name, feed, and customize. No Experiment way! Acrobatics and feel a rush of adrenaline as you dive from the sky and explore the open world of Pandora. Look how the massive air. this is! If you travel north, you'll get to the upper plains. An expansive grassland filled with contrasts and open views as far as the eye can see. The nomadic Seswa clan live here in symbiosis with gigantic beasts called Sakru. Earn the clan's trust, and they will teach you the art of riding dire horses. Dude, the animals, the fauna is going to be so west, sick. The mysterious clouded forest, where hidden Little in the danger. mist, nothing is as it seems. Here lives the Kamatiri, a clan of healers with their own dark reasons to stay hidden. And we've got the operations are threatening the balance of Pandora. They build facilities of all sizes to exploit resources at any cost, spreading devastating pollution. In the process, animals are hurt and poached. You'll need to stop the RDA from ravaging your home. And when you are ready, you will take the fight to them. I like the bow and arrow. Words, you can learn to master oh, multiple combat too. styles. Your powerful instincts allow you to get an overview of the battlefield, mark your enemies, and identify weak points. Traditional I'm hoping there's a lot of stealth in this. Are versatile and precise. You can use the longbow to hit long-range targets, or the staff sling to set up traps. For a more explosive approach, you can leverage your human training and go for the blast of an assault rifle, a shotgun, or go bigger with the occasional rocket launcher. <laughs> Let's go, dude. You can also rely on your incredible strength to take down amp units. Above the clouds, your Ikran will help you in aerial combat against the RDA. This is insane. We're standing Destroying on an Ikran RDA fighting helicopter. What? Will have a tangible impact on your world. With the pollution removed, Pandora heals. You will be able to harvest the best quality material again and craft better gear and weapons. No way. You will also find ingredients to cook 
and make meals to get stronger. As you keep discovering what it truly means to become Navi, you'll improve your skills by connecting to Ewa through the Tarshu plant and learn from the memories of your ancestors. Skill upgrades can improve many aspects of your character, such as your natural agility to move through the world, Dude, your this stealth look, this approach is really when cool. hunting or fighting, or the handling of your weapons and mounts. Avatar Frontiers of Pandora is a captivating action-adventure game designed to maximize the power of new-gen consoles and PC. Look at these You'll scenes. be able to play the full story campaign in single player or with a friend online in two-player co-op. We invite you to explore this world of wonder. Become Navi and take down the RDA to protect Pandora. So it's a story of reconnecting with your heritage, bonding all of these different tribes together all over Pandora and uniting them against the humans to be able to fight back. Stop them from taking advantage of you and your planet. And saving all that, that live there. I love it, man. Honestly, the, the whole like growing plants to be able to get better resources, cooking meals to be able to get stronger, taking care of your banshee, feeding it, that sort of thing. That That's pretty cool. I know it's not like a survival game. Still, I, I like that we've got a, a whole bunch of, of other features going on than just the main storyline. We've also got the world premiere trailer here. It said that all Navi are defined by their actions. This world is, is just going to be insane. I'm getting some heavy Horizon Zero Dawn vibes. Horizon Forbidden West vibes. Colorful, massive, crazy animals. And poisoned our world. Plants and things. Secure the perimeter. All threats must be eliminated. They took everything from us. From me. I was trained in their ways, their technology, their weapons, things now we that can use it again. should not know. And then one day, they left. Hell's Gate is under attack. Evacuate now. Kill all the Navi children. But before they did, our teacher saved us and put us to sleep. This is your only chance to survive. And there I remained for 15 years. Until one day, I awoke. And I was free. Free to explore my world. Did the free running look sick? Running along tree limbs, jumping on leaves, sliding, climbing, going to be. hopping on a ekron. Free to discover what I was meant to do. Called it. Now you see what they kept you from. You're true. Under attack again. Don't let the Navi get in our We're way. We're gonna put a stop to Get him. rid of them. And I have a choice to make. I choose to protect my home. I love the bow and arrow, dude. I really hope we have some stealth opportunities. Although it is not, I mean, we can use weapons, we can use rocket launchers, we can use bow and arrows, we can use melee, we can. Ugh. I will say, Horizon Combat is some of the best in the business so if we could have a similar level of polish here i was a child of two worlds it's gonna be sick. i am no longer i am navi i got a little chill there avatar frontiers of pandora Sivako. Sivako, rise to the chat. All right, I I'm in. I think this looks really good. I'm really hoping that Ubisoft delivers on these. It's, again, not something I thought we needed, not something I ever thought we would get, but it actually looks pretty sick. I mean, Pandora just kind of speaks for itself. Fight back against the humans, save the planet. Let's do it. I'll see you guys in December.